The Greyhound is one of the fastest vehicles in the game. It comes with a speed stat of 42. At 260 MP, it's also a very early buy and a very cheap one but its armor is quite lightweight and paper thin. In the body, it's got 16 in the front and 10 on the side, rear and top. On the turret, it's 19 all around. It comes equipped with a 37 mm M6 at 110 range, 27, 70, 47 penetration, 30, 72, 10, 80, two, and the reload time is three. So rather quick reload time for that light AT gun. And machine guns, it's a fairly great infantry killer. It has a 50 cal AA, and also a 30 cal coaxial. So really, it's made for killing infantry, but it does have some anti-tank capabilities because also with its speed, it can flank units too. The main benefits of the Greyhound is it really mows down the infantry really fast with the 50 cal and 30 cal it also comes with an anti-tank gun which can defend itself from the look and the 222 and also can be useful later on versus let's say a medium tank at the early game you have several choices to go the greyhound is in the middle range at 260 mp you can go the half track at 150 mp a bit earlier which comes with a 50 cal which can take out all the infantry as well or you could wait a bit longer get the m16 at 225 or you can wait even longer to wait for the 340 MP extra to the Greyhound to go to Stuart. Um, in my opinion, I would prefer to go the half track and the Stuart. The reason for it does its job at the time, earlier time. So half track kills the infantry at earlier time, the Stuart comes out at a later time and does its job for taking out the two to twos and Luke's, where the Greyhound is a bit risky to do so. Buying a Greyhound in the start of the game is cheap and you can get it earlier than the Stuart, but it is risky because the counters on the field such as the German Luke which costs 240 MP, 20 MP cheaper can come out quicker and it's not a sure bet to fight it, but when you do want to fight your Luke's or 2 to 2 counter on the German team, you do have to stay at maximum range. As you can see here, I am fighting it at max, trying to reverse back as it comes forth to take me out and you can see again. It's struggling to take it out, but there you go. So in that scenario, we both died. Um, as you can see, it is quite a risky play. If you miss a shot or two, and if I was, if I didn't actually spot that and went a bit closer, I would have been dead in the first shot. The Greyhound is very dangerous in all stages of the game, even the early one. The German AT rifle costs 60 MP and can quite easily counter your Greyhound from the side. From the front here, you can see it's bouncing. So if you do encounter an AT rifle, definitely switch to your front as it's got 16 armor and can withstand the AT rifle at pretty reasonable ranges. But if you can see if I turn my side here, the AT rifle will penetrate me. There you go. So you can see how the Greyhound can be risky. There's all sorts of threats around. All game for the Greyhound. One of the benefits of the Greyhound is it can turn very fast because it has wheels. As you can see here, in this example, the H is struggling to track me and it has to turn its hull and turret to actually catch up with me. This is one of the benefits of the Greyhound which you can use if you manage to get close range to your tougher tanks, such as the H, P3, these are the kind of vehicles you'll be expecting in the middle game. If your Greyhound does survive your initial 2-2-2 Luke AT rifle fights, in the early games, your combat will be versus these ones. And in these ones, you can 50-50 play them. And once you get close, they're quite good um, in taking out the H because it can't keep up. Attacking um, a middle medium tank in the middle game is quite tough with a Greyhound. You can't really penetrate it frontally, especially a H. You'll need to actually hit it from the side. And even if you do, you can struggle to penetrate it with a normal AP shell. You do need to do the APCR round shot. As you can see here, there's a lot of crew injuries. The gun isn't as that powerful, so it will struggle to penetrate sometimes. You can see how long it's going to take the <laughs> Greyhound taking out the shots. Finally there. 
See the wheel fell off there too? That's another thing about the Greyhound is that the wheels can blow off. And once they do blow off, you can't move or repair it. One of the downsides of having wheels. In late game, the Greyhound is still effective to take out infantry, but it will struggle to flank and attack some heavier vehicles. The Tiger, for example, will be quite impossible to take with the Greyhound unless your opponent lets you. The Panther, though, is a possibility as it does have very, very weak side armor. In this example here, I'm using the Greyhound with the Sherman, pushing up my Sherman to engage the Panther head on so it doesn't turn, so it leaves its side for me for the Greyhound to flank. Um, so this is just an example. It may not. It would be hard to do in actually in a real life game. I hit that tree there. That was a bit of a blunder, but you get the example. Load the APCR. Attack it from the side. And eventually penetrate it. As you can see, I'm angled there a bit on the side. It will struggle to penetrate a bit. So you, ideally, you'll be directly side to side with the Panther in that scenario. So not all, by all means useless but it's a risky buy yet again it could be one of a last ditch effort kind of assault versus a panther if you want to really take it out and you don't have the mp use two units in conjunction the greyhound can also tow anti-tank weapons as you can see here you hover your mouse cursor over the m5 gun right click it attaches and so we just move it up to the front and press the detach button over here and there you go it's not usually used in small games but in larger team games you can coordinate your buys where one player buys the AT gun and you buy the Greyhound and you carry it to the front then gift it back to your opponent all the fast vehicles in the game and that are relatively cheap. You can sacrifice this to attack some emplacements that's really annoying you, such as a mortar shooting from a position. You, you can just run your ground hand and hope for the best, drive all the way, squash it, and take it out. <laughs> it's kind of a, I guess, a last ditch effort sometimes, or sometimes you know that the enemy has nothing left defending that mortar. You could just charge it, run it over, and then run back to your lines in safety because you're fast and get, get away 